Wednesday and it is our riding lesson. We are racing to the barn so we can ride our horses. No, <laughs> it's not happening. It is minus 14 degrees. Minus 14? Minus 14 degrees, but with the wind chill, it's way colder. When is it with the wind chill? Did we figure that out? Minus 20 is too cold. Too cold for horses. I've got Gabby in the back here. Sophie decided to stay home. Unfortunately, we still have to take their grain there. We only can take so much grain like each time. We make little bags, you guys know. And so we're headed to the barn to bring a grain and spend a little bit of time with the boys, bring them in maybe for a few minutes so they can get out of the snow while Sam makes the grain. <laughs> but that's what happens when you have horses. It is rain or shine or snow or freezing cold, no matter what, you gotta be there, you gotta be taking care of them, and so that's what we're doing. We're being good horse owners and doing what we have to do, but man, I am tired of this. If you are somebody who lives in a warm climate, I am so jealous, I wanna come there, I wanna live there, I honestly do. I would move, I would move to the States in a second, would you? Like, I just wanna move, you guys, I, I hate winter. Hi, big guys, is that Chino playing? There are girls on the other side of that fence. Chino, Chino can see Gray Finn from here. Do you guys see? It's like they're looking at each other. Look, Gray, oh. See? It's, our, it's like, we will be friends. Look at Gray Finn's looking at you, Gabby. They're looking at each other. And Finn's just like, do 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 do. I'm here minding my own business. One day we'll look back and wonder how we ever survived making grain out of the back of our car. Come on. He's like, where's Sophie? I don't understand. She's missing. <laughs> you wanna run around a little and get warm? He's like, I enjoyed the sun out there. I was enjoying the sun out there, crazy lady. We got Chino too. Don't worry, just go and have a little run. So at our old barn we had like, so much area for them to run around and be active in and then they didn't really want to work all the time because they were so busy enjoying their lives. Oh, he misses Sophie. He's like, oh, he's leaving me. And uh, this barn, they actually have enough area to move around, but now it's winter and they don't really want to move, move around. So it's nice that they can come in. Oh, it's nice they can come in when they need to have a little right break they both want to roll don't do it I'm telling you don't do it it's not a good idea well hello handsome <laughs> he's like tricked ya I'm only going to her <laughs> comes to my pocket do you have any treats no nope, I'm going to her <laughs> he was actually out there playing with Sparky they were biting each other's necks over the fence which is probably how his neck got broken not his actual neck like the neck of his blanket <laughs> Finny. <laughs> Finn. Finn is a follower. He's like, yep, yeah, I pooped here last week. <laughs> now that was jealousy. <laughs> wrong with you <laughs> what are you doing oh he's gonna go he's about to drop and there he goes there he goes on the ground yeah everybody get close <laughs> Gabby, do you think Chino doesn't like jumping? Eh. eh.
have so much energy. They just want to run and play. <laughs> Gino, don't bite his neck. Don't bite him. Be a nice boy. We're just gonna check their feet and make sure that there's no mud and stuff inside cool. there. Freezing ice inside there because Penny gets that and Storm Gabby gets and my that. Children size gloves. <laughs> Gabby and her children size gloves. My father thought I had children sized hands. They almost fit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the thing about fathers. Fathers are like that, you guys. And he blames me because apparently I picked them out, which I didn't. Carrot stretches, big boy. He's like, okay, I will always do carrot stretches. We've been really good about our carrot stretches with our horses. And this guy's like trained already. He already knows. I told you that the other day. He's like, okay, I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> Doesn't even try and run away because he knows. This Come is on. what it's all about. All the way to your bum. Yay, that's good. You should give it to him. Good job. Finn's over there staring at me like, what about me? I need some. He's really good at those. Is it just me or do all horse people get excited when their horse is good at carrot stretches? <laughs> because it means that they're limber and feeling good. Come on back. <laughs> no, that's cheating. Come on, come on, come on. All the way back, come on, you can do it. <laughs> He's like, this is too much work. So this is something that we always do with our horses and we also do leg stretches because in the past, you guys know that because our kids are still learning to ride, I want our horses to be in the best shape that they can be. So we have chiropractor and massage every month and to kind of like balance out the mistakes they make. And this is one of the things that they both agree are the best thing to do with horses. So they've taught us like some leg stretches to stretch them out before a ride and after a ride. And they've taught us uh, to do carrot stretches. And they've the horses naturally know how to lick the metal because that's what they do best. Stretch it, Finny. It's so weird because Finn doesn't do as good normally with carrot stretches. I mean, he does them, but he doesn't do as good as Chino. But he doesn't like to, so you have to hold his halter. Yeah, he doesn't like to. Uh -huh. He doesn't like to, but typically Chino has the, or, but typically Finny has the best back. Like he's short backed, he's got a strong back. He's like super strong, never ever has a problem. What is that? Oh, whoa. Don't <laughs> be running me over, dude. He never has a problem typically, and he hates them the most. Good boy. Good boy. So that's it for the, for the coldest day of the year so far, is it? Actually, it might be the second coldest day of the year so far. That's it, we're going home now. Just brought them in, let them run around and play a little. Did their stretches that we would normally do on a riding day. Oh, hold on, hold on. And now we're headed back out. Gabby says she can't feel her toes. I can't feel my toes either. Can't even feel my nose. Can you guys tell I'm like in kick zone here? Whew. Get going. <laughs> what the heck? We'll be back. That's it, Finn, you're done. Wasn't that fun? Finn's like, yeah, I'm so confused. What was that all about, Laura? Are there girls over there? Are there, listen to the squeak though. What's the worst part about snow? It's the crunchy squeak. It makes my teeth ache. Does it do that to you guys? It's like this weird feeling. You have a big drink. Look, he's got cows to the left of him, horses to the right. You like it here, don't you? This is like a really fun, little busy place. There was a time I've never walked in a field like that and got between two horses. I'm brave now, you guys. Looking back on our journey with horses, 
I feel like I would never change any bit of it, any part of it. Like buying our horses, loving them all. Each one has taught us something different in this journey and even though we're entering a totally different journey, like horses is such a journey. So many different things to like consider their storm. Bye storm. With his head in the head in the hay. So many different things to consider and learn and like every horse takes you somewhere. And having them and loving them and growing with them has been such a has been such a blessing and a journey and I would not go back one single step, would you? What would you do differently? What I would do differently is uh, get my girls into uh, tennis. <laughs> Tennis, tennis is where it's at. If you could do any, if you could do anything differently in your horse journey, what would it be? Get a chestnut mare. Get a chestnut mare. <laughs> she has a choice of a chestnut. I had one before. Yeah, she did have one. It was her first horse, lease horse, and I think that's why she has so much affection for them because when her heart was at its biggest for horses, like when you're a child, you have the chestnut biggest. Treat me like a baby. Chestnut mares treat her me. like a Palomino's baby. Palominos all hate her. <laughs> Is that There's true? No like, they're, racist. they're racist. Horses are racist, you guys. Obviously, horses are not like that. They're not designed like that. They don't think like that. But it's funny to say. Like, it's funny how people just like say things like that. But Gabby feels like connected. Oh, Palominos are right. Look at all of them. Yeah. Well, what about Denver? Is Denver like you? No. It's weird, like, I feel like all paints like me. <laughs> Do you think that it ever could be like, you love something and then it transfers onto the horse and the horse connects to that? Like, maybe paints love me because I love paints? No. I think all pennies. I think all pennies eat. <laughs> Penny does not love Sam. Even though he does try. What? Yeah, I feel like you're either a chestnut nut mare person or you're not. We are having a midday snack and we got these unicorn cupcakes. Who doesn't love a good unicorn cupcake? I would eat it, but I only like chocolate. Yeah. So tell them what's happening tomorrow. <laughs> what? Yeah. Chiropractor for your horses? No. So he's like, unicorns. You guys know that Gabby is a right handed rider meaning that she pulls a lot with her right hand she sits almost crooked in the saddle she sits like her right whole her entire right side is pushed forward in the saddle and so she's like really strong on the right side and less strong on the left side i don't know how it works my left leg is stronger your left leg is stronger we found that out all right so her left leg is stronger but she uh, somehow is always cranking the horse's neck to the right and it's detrimental to the horse. So we, is it good? So we are gonna try and fix Gabby. We made an appointment for a chiropractor for her to go tomorrow. So uh, we're gonna take her to the chiropractor. It's the first time she's 14, almost 15 years old. Never been to the chiropractor before. Tomorrow's gonna be her very first experience. I'm excited. Gabby doesn't like people touching her. We hardly ever go to the doctor, even though it's free in Canada, because we never have any problems. Like we're, knock on wood, so super healthy and, and um, but we're gonna go tomorrow and we're gonna see how things happen and try and vlog the whole thing for you guys so you can see. We're gonna go there and we're gonna say, you know, she is crooked, so could you fix her? We've got a crooked kid. <laughs> Your horse was so sad when you weren't there. He was looking everywhere for you. I'll see him next time. You'll see him next time? That is it for today's video and we will see you guys tomorrow. Wish Gabby luck in the comments <laughs> that she gets fixed so that our horses are good. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the